Hello, Cristina. Hey, Nazario, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Good evening. So good. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Are you ready for tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Ever ready. Do you have to work or are you going to have the day off? No, I have. I'm going to rest. I have day off tomorrow. Yes. Hey, that's I'm going great. to. I'm going to stay home. Yeah. And take yeah, a rest. Yeah, in the middle too. of the, in the middle of the week. That way, the week you feel very short. Yeah, it's true. Both with in the same case, we have to work only four days. Yeah, but the best part is that only work two days, and then you have off. It's not the same work four days and then at the end of the week. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. And it's what about off. what about with your wife, your and your daughter? Are you going to do anything? Yeah, yeah. I think that we have a surprise for tomorrow. Excellent. They are celebrating in the church just today a dinner. Hey, that's yeah. nice. Maybe she will return maybe at 8 or 9.30. Good. Yeah, it was nice. I think so. And tomorrow, uh, I think, I hope we maybe take a, a dinner or a lunch. I'm not sure. We are not sure. Just right now. In my case, usually it's lunch. We don't like to have uh, dinner too much because I find that lunch is, is more comfortable because yeah. you can eat later, more relaxed. And then sometimes you have a lot of food and then you have the food for the dinner. Yeah. To be honest with you, we ever make the celebration uh, for lunch and once or two in a year, maybe we may in the night. I think so. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's better in the in the in the lunch. I think so. I think it's better at lunch as well. Yeah, you are going to celebrate with your wife and your and my children. Yeah, children. Oh, no, that's mm. right. Wonderful. Yeah, the that's children. Wonderful. I think the children are gonna make her breakfast, which is yeah, it's typical, right? They make the breakfast, and then we are going to. Uh, probably go out for lunch to eat. Ah, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. You have you maybe you will visit a, a restaurant with your wife. I think so. Um, a good yeah. restaurant for looking for good food. Yeah, we already celebrated, it, but um, it depends. Maybe we do. Maybe not a restaurant, but we go out to eat somewhere like a fast food or some place like this. Yeah, oh, that's right. It's Mother's Day. Nobody wants to cook on Mother's Day. And the important is to go out with a family. I think so. This yeah. is the better. That's right. Wonderful teacher. Mm -hmm. My mom, my mom is on the sky just right now, but just in an early morning, I think that I have to go to the cemetery in an early morning mm -hmm. and, and leave a a rose, maybe. Okay. Yeah. And after that, I return to my home because the cemetery is, is close to our house, maybe. Three or four blocks. Hey, that's pretty. Wow, you have everything. Yeah. 
you have everything very close, right? Always <laughs> yeah. The church, the cemetery, everything. Yeah, it's true. It's a small town in in country, single city. Yeah, okay. I live it. I live in the sewer, maybe at maybe at ten minutes from Santana City. Mm, okay, but it's but it's okay. I I don't go to Santana too often, but I think it's a it's I think Santana has everything very close. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, but everything is specialized in some. Okay. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm so excited. I'm glad that you are here. Uh, we have today and two more classes. So it's almost time for us to finish up. Today, we want to make sure that we finish our cell phone etiquette, which is the reading, and then have any questions, review. And then if we have time, begin already the final exam. That way, we don't have to worry about anything the other days. That's the most important. Okay? So let's try cell phone etiquette together okay let me share the screen and then we're going to read instead of making the groups okay okay oh too big <laughs> there we go much better much better okay so christina is going to read the first paragraph nazario the second one carla the third Rodrigo the fourth, uh, Carla Eugenia the next, and then Blanca the last. Okay. Okay. All right, Cristina, you begin. Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay, teacher. Ok, Cristina. Creo que subí un poquito para ver la pantalla, no la veo. O el de arriba, el primero, de, what do you do in... in... Ah. Like this, Cristina? Yes. Ok. What do you do in a swift situation like this? Your eating dinner with friends in nice restaurant. You are you're having a great time time when a, a phone rise in the plate next to you. A man takes all this phone and start talking loudly of problems he's having with his girlfriend he talks for almost the news this happened a time on both both bosses in restaurant everywhere okay thank everywhere. you very much. good thank you very much christina Christina, practice more reading you, to improve your reading fluency. You have to read okay. a, lot, a lot more. But thank you very much. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Many people find cell phone useful in their day. Today, please, but we've all sat next to someone talking too loudly on a cell phone. You may want to tell the loud mouth to end the conversation. But let the management take care of noise customers. You can only control your own behavior. Here are a few rules. Good. Thank you very much. Right now, any question, any vocabulary you don't know? Yes, teacher. Okay. Which vocabulary? Uh, behavior. Behavior is the way that you act, what you do. Oh, okay. This okay. is the behavior. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am lowly despacio, no. Lowly is with a lot of volume. It's positive. Sorry? I don't hear you. Loudly is with a lot of volume. Ah, okay, 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 okay. 
Ok, teacher. Good. Ok. Carla, I think you are next. Carla Eugenia, right? Off mean off. Respect, yes. mm -hmm. respect the rule of restaurant and other public play or other public place. If a scene say turn on cell phones, don't use your phone. Thank you very much. Good. Mm -hmm. The next, I think it's Rodrigo, right? Or no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, keep private conversation private. Speak softly and for a short time. Try to move away from other people. Okay, great. Almost there. Let's continue. Who's next? Blanca, go ahead. Lights off. Can you see that? Good, yes. Lights off. Fall off. Never take calls in a theater, theater mm -hmm. or at the movies. Next. Yes, go ahead, Blanca. Read the next. And then Luisana, the last. Play, mm -hmm. play attention. Taking on a cell phone will driving. Is dangerous and watch where you're going when you're walking down, down the street and parking on the phone. Okay, thank you very much, Blanca. Okay, and the last one, Luisana. Okay, good, good evening. As more people use cell phones, things are only going to get worse. So the next time you're gay, I can, I can see it, teacher. Let me see. Mm. Getting, getting re ready, ready to make a call, a stop and consider the people around you. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at some of the words. Are there any vocabulary that you don't understand? Any words you don't know? No, for me, teacher. It's okay. For example, it's clear. The war softly. Rodrigo, please repeat. Uh, yes. For example, the word softly. Softly is not loud, the opposite of loud. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And all songs say, teacher, killing me softly. Do you remember? Ah, yes, it's correct. Yeah. yeah. That song. It's an old song, killing mm -hmm. me softly. Any other words? No one's teacher. No? All right. Then with your partners here in 5.11, you have to choose which one would the, the person probably agree with. Let's take a moment right now. So which ones do you think the author would agree with? Three teacher, turn off your cell phone if some someone asks you to. Okay. Good. Very nice. What else? Number six. Good evening. You can use a cell phone in public if you speak quietly. Okay. Quietly. I, quietly. 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 Don't shoot into the phone, teacher. I think so. Don't shout into the phone. Okay. Don't shout into the phone. 
Number and eight. the number eight, don't stand. don't stand close or people when you are using a cell phone. Oh, probably. Good, good. Anything else? Only teacher. Only four options. Only four teachers. All right, let's take a look, see how we have. Hey, exactly. Those are the four that we have. Very nice. Okay. Any questions about any of those? All is clear. Okay, perfect. So right now we're going to talk about etiquette. And what do you think are your rules for etiquette, for behavior? What do you think about people that speak English in public? Is correct or not correct? Like the people that are in the in the mall, in the restaurant, and then they are Salvadorian, but they are speaking English. What do you think? So, but when is we... well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, Nazario. Don't worry, Jonathan. It's okay. Your... For me, is depend depend on, mm -hmm. but for me, it's not correctly because. I don't need a reason to speak in English, only for talk about another people with no, not no English, for example. Or practice is good. For example, if I with my coworkers or my friends here go to a coffee shop, we can speak English to practice. Okay. Okay. Well, teacher, I think that nowadays, uh, according to the the walls or the different kind of compromise that we have, it's so normal to find people in different kind of places uh, speaking in English. Yeah, uh, and I think that is that is normal. We we are in the way to learn another language, and so it's important to practice to whatever. So I think that is, is, is normal uh, every day that people find a better way to, to speak. Uh, the etiquette, I think that we can speak slow or softly uh, and not slowly. Yeah, okay. I, I, think, I think that is normal. Is, I don't worry about that issue. So if I can, if I can participate in the conversation, I try to do. Okay. Yeah. I ask because I know that in El Salvador, many times the people get offended. The people are speaking English in the bus or the speaker are speaking English in the bus. And you hear many Salvadorians, Ay, como que si fuéramos el Estados Unidos que se creen que están hablando en inglés. Um, many people don't like, maybe sometimes like Jonathan mentioned, many people have, especially in Salvador, they are talking about me. They are talking about me. And many people, you're, it's not that important, but the people feel that they are talking. The reason I ask is because when you watch the news in the United States, the same thing for the Americans. Hey, you come to the US, learn English, don't speak Spanish. But the people, ah, I speak what I want to speak. I hear teacher in, in, in your country, when people uh, uh, meet with uh, with American people and and they are speaking in English, uh, when the people don't speak uh, English, maybe sometimes open their mouth and open their eyes and watching a real conversation so interesting. But what with another people, we watch so important the language and not with our own country. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very good. So we have many different ideas. This is etiquette, the rules or regulation. With your partners, now we're going to have an, you have a task. You have to have an objective. You have people coming from other countries, from Dubai, from Russia, from Canada, come to El Salvador. What is the cultural etiquette that you need to know in El Salvador? What are the rules that maybe are not in the, in the paper, but are for social rules that you and your partner have to explain to them. So with your partner, you're gonna create information. You are responsible to inform the person about etiquette, 
what is the correct etiquette when you are in El Salvador for different things? As an example, when you visit somebody in their house or when you meet somebody for the first time, when talk, you and your partner are going to think about different rules for different places and situations and come up with some etiquette rules for the foreigners. It's okay, the idea what you have to do? Yeah, I know, teacher, but in this in the same case, teacher, for example, I met with uh, occasionally with a couple of Norway, uh, maybe two months ago in, in, on the bus. And when I went to play to Huayuga, and I tried to talk with, with them about different kind of thing of El Salvador, but people never seen maybe in a good way when one, when, when in my case, tried to speak uh, a little bit uh, and say, people say, Ve y este. this is the, the word that people use when, when the Salvadorian people try to speak in English. But it's, I think that is the culture of, of, of people. Okay. All right, yes. So right now, you and your partner are going to create similar to the etiquette for cell phones, etiquette for El Salvador. What do the people need to do or know when visiting El Salvador? Okay, it's clear? It's clear. Okay. ¿A alguien que no entendió qué tienen que hacer? Me teacher. Thank you, Luisana. Very good. Thank you for saying it. I congratulate you. Luisana, what we are going to do is with the partner, for example, Ming and Nazario are partners, and we are going to talk about what is the way to act in El Salvador. For example, in El Salvador, when you meet for the first time, it's very common to kiss on the cheek. It's not sexual and it's not offensive. It is common for men and women to kiss on the cheek. It is common for men to shake hands. This, you and your partner are going to discuss all of the culture, what is the normal, the normal things to do with other people or situations. Okay, teacher. It's okay, Luisana? Yeah. Excellent, thank you. Anybody else, any question? No teacher, it's okay. Okay, perfect. All right, let's make a few groups. Okay. Luisana, can you connect? Luisana.
maybe uh, I don't know, teacher, uh, give thanks um at the end of each um, meal. I don't know. Maybe when you finish um your lunch, your dinner, give say, give say thanks. Hola, hola. Teacher. Yes, Carla. Yes, Carla. And I, and a question, a Carla Alvarenga. Uh huh. It's correct, teacher. Yes, it's correct. Yes, uh, okay. Because this is the common is not common in other countries, so it's yeah. it's exactly so that way the people are not offended because in other countries, for example, in other countries, at the end of the meal is necessary burp. Bleh, because this is like in Turkey. Oh. In Turkey, this is the, the food, delicious. Oh. And if, if you don't burp, you are offensive. Yeah. Maybe it is, uh, say hello when you arrive somewhere. Okay. So exactly. You with your partner, the different situations. Imagine yeah. it's a new culture for the other people. You are Muslim. You are from Japan. You are from Russia. The friend for them is different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The idea is prepare them, prepare them so that is not oh what happened. But rules of etiquette, Erica's uh, in El Salvador. Correct. El Salvador. In El Salvador. In El Salvador. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You okay. welcome. Thanks, teacher. <clears throat> okay. When you are ready, only tell me. I'm waiting here. Uh, hola, well, Yonata. Se pensé que había ido. No, no, I'm here waiting for you. Huh? Well, let's begin. Tell me, Cristina, it's good or bad for you to speak English in public? Give me your, for me, give me a reason. Um, for me, it's normal. Maybe of work uh, or come visit the country and many combination why it's all in English. That nice. But for me, when I go on the bus, I don't see it's uh, necessary to speak English because I don't like to attract attention. But when I go touring, like I like to talk to some foreigners or tourists because I like to talk with them about our region, our food, and our places. And I like to know another cultures from other people. In this case, it's necessary to communicate. But in a daily routine, if I don't, I. I don't go with my friends with no English. For me, it's not necessary. Is is my or to walk? Tell me, Rodrigo, once again, please. Uh, yes, for example, in in Spain, it's normally that two men uh, greeting greeting uh, greeting. Uh, two men in the Mejia, what? A chick, a kiss, yes. yeah, kiss. Chick. a kiss, a kiss in a chick, yeah. In, a, in it's El Salvador, so it's rarely. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, but but it's for it's for the culture of of our people. In Argentina, for example, they greeting chick to chick. Yeah, well, men or men or or women, but for for us in our country is. It's so strange. 
But, but people are strange, say a old song when you are strange. The door says that. Yes. You, did you hear that? The doors, people are strange when you are strange. Yes. In this yeah. country, it's normally only a greeting that uh, say the, the hand. Shake, shake the hand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, for us it's a normal, it's a normal green shake the hand with ladies or with or with men. It's a normal. Uh, but with women, sometimes it's normally uh, a kiss in the in the cheek. I would shake their hands. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a normal. Or in the USA, it's normal. Yeah, I think so. I watch in a different kind of video that this normal Latin American this kind of reading. Yeah, it's according to our culture. For example, in Guatemala, they had their own culture. In El Salvador, uh, all of them have different kind of culture. I think so. Yeah. yeah. For example, yeah. people say. Danka. <coughs> Read with good morning, good afternoon, good night. When, when we. When we go down the street and meet some someone, mm -hmm. sorry, I don't, I don't hear you. With saludar, with hola, hola, Blanca. Yes. Uh -huh. Greet, uh, saludar, with good morning, good afternoon, or good night, when we go down the street and meet someone. <clears throat> oh, okay. It's similar, uh, say hello when you arrive somewhere. It's similar. Blanca. <clears throat> yeah. mm -hmm. I don't know. What other? Um, Okay, let's listen to some of the ideas. What did you come up with your partner? What are some of the etiquette? If I am from Russia, I am from Saudi Arabia, I am from Japan, what do I need to know about El Salvador? Do not speak with food in your mouth. Oh. Yeah. Yes, because in other countries, it's very common. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Not mm -hmm. to speak with food in your mouth. Nice. Another one. Mm hmm A kiss in the well, cheek. A kiss in the cheek is only for a man and a woman. Ah, uh, only a man and a woman. A the woman, or country. Woman, the woman, woman, no. Sometimes. Okay. Okay. But not for men. For men. Not for men. Yeah. Okay. Good. What else? Uh, for example, teacher, when I visit a uh, other person, uh, it's necessary to help. Uh, wash the dishes. Ah, when you go visit someone's house, offer to wash the dishes. Yes. Okay. Good. What about a present? Is when you visit someone's house, do you take a present? Yeah. Yes, yeah, teacher. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, me too. Uh -huh. Maybe pay attention, atten attention, teacher, when someone talk to you. Okay, pay attention to them. Good. Yeah, you cannot use the cell phone when other people talk with you in the in a restaurant, for example, or in your house, or in your house. It's bad. For example, we talk with Carla Nazario, and I take my cell phone and 
play video games, for example, or see video TikToks. Yeah. It's not currently. <laughs> Yeah. But, but it's Rodrigo awesome. Rodrigo is right, but nowadays is is a little bit problem with the cell phone use because um, a lot of people are meeting but everyone has their cell phone in their hand and watching uh, the internet, uh, YouTube and don't don't speak between us. Mm, okay. This is an issue also, okay. What but if, if you talk to someone, why to use the cell phone? Uh -huh, Nazario? Sorry? But if you talk to someone, but, uh, to, you, uh, but to use the cell phone, it's not necessary. Yeah, I'm sure. We are in a meeting. Imagine that we are in a meeting uh, face to face. It's not necessary to use our cell phone because we are trying to drink a cup of coffee or maybe take a good conversation or solve a problem or talking about different kind of things. So it's better face to face. Yeah. Listen. I think the people that use the cell phone is a relationship to. <laughs> When, when they go with her friends and all the time is on the cell phone, reading the messages, yeah, it's not correct for me. Okay. This is the way. This is the way just right now. This is the way. Yeah. It's, you yeah, like Star Wars. It's it's true. Similar it's true. to Jonathan. Yeah, but this is the way just right now. It's a, I, got, how, how the you, meaning of falta de respeto, teacher? No respect. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. Yes. Yeah, no, but this is the way just right now. Good or bad. But this is the but this is the way. No, but this is the way. For example, if I go to a restaurant, that is not with, correct. Yeah, it's not nor it's not normal and it's not good. Good or bad, it's but normal. this is no, I think so. That is not normal. But this mm. is this is this just right now. This is the the, the the way that we have. This is the way, I think so. But it's not normal. It's education. Uh -huh. Education. Yeah. Bad education. Yeah. No, yeah. It, um, sorry, I don't say it's normal puede ser, pero tiene que ver parte de la educación. Carla, Carla, yeah. Carla, you're in English. Sorry, in English. Sorry, no, 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 sorry, no, sorry. In, 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 in English, Carla. What? What? I don't, I don't say, but it's, uh, I don't know. No, yeah, you understood. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's true. I understood. And it's not normal, but if the, I, I think that this is the real event that passed in front of my face when I visit a place, a restaurant, uh, when I go to my family, this is the, the, the thing that happened just right now in front of us. Yeah, it's not correct. I know it's not correct, but this is the, this is the situation just right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. What other things are normal for El Salvador? What other etiquettes do I need to know if I visit El Salvador? Do not answer the phone in church. Ah, do not answer the phone in church. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Only in church. No, in the cinema, um, in the theater. Okay. At, at the school. All right. Good. Anything else? No. Do I take off my shoes? What? <laughs> Do you take off your shoes when you enter the house? Like a nation region. Like, exactly. I say if I am from Japan, it's normal. But I enter Santa the house, Santa take off my here. shoes. Huh? But in some Santa cases. Santa. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember. Yeah, in some cases. 
Well, yeah, in my family, only uh, for two or three members. I feel so great at the beginning, but then when I go to the chant class, it's normal. Uh -huh. So for I don't, oh, okay. don't you experience. So you experience that yes. Yeah. I, I feel the, the connection with the house when you walk with no shoes in the floor. Okay. okay. You see, Carla? Ah, you, you never it's new for me. Uh-huh. Don't it's... use sandal sandals in your house, Carla. Use sandals. Yes, mm, but just... and I don't like uh, to put my feet in the floor. Ah. I don't know. Be because your floor is dirty. The floor is dirty, Carla. I think so. <laughs> I think the so. Floor is dirty. No, mm, of course not. <laughs> your floor is dirty. Mm. My house is clean for me. It's clean for me. Is a reason for you know you shoes in your house if it's clean? Jonathan. I so. mm -hmm. Jonathan. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think rarely, maybe. Mm -hmm. For example, in El Salvador, is 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 not normal put the the paper from the bathroom. The toilet paper is not normal put in the toilet. It's normally in the garbage. Mm -hmm. And in the other countries, it's not normal. In the other countries, the paper put in the toilet in paper. The toilet. In the uh -huh. But yeah. in El Salvador, it's different. The people, mm -hmm. the, uh -huh, it went, because I know that a lot, of, a lot of people, when they come to El Salvador, <gasps> what happened with the toilet is, is very unusual but you have to explain to the people because for them is the normal put in the toilet but, but but you know what teacher do you do you know what the real the, the real situation that people don't put the 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 paper in the toilet why because because a lot of a lot of people uh uh stolen wrong steal steal Still the, the paper. This is the real situation in Metro Central, for example. The paper is out of the toilet because <laughs> inside of the toilet, a lot of people uh, stole the, the paper. Oh, for the public bathrooms, correct. Yeah, in the public bathroom. It's mm -hmm. normal. Yeah. This is the reason that the, the people in the in the public bathroom use the, the, the paper out of the out of the toilet mm -hmm. and not in the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. In the other countries, it's normal to have inside the bathroom, right? Yeah, it's normal. But also when so. you use, when you use in the other countries, they don't have a basket. No basket. Yeah. They put no. the paper in the water. Yeah, inside the water. That is mm -hmm. true. Yeah. Okay. Rules. Depend each country, each culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Carla, no. Take off the shoes. Use the shoes, connect uh, with the uh, uh -huh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like. Yeah. Me either. But <laughs> I use sandals. In my house, I use sandals. In my case, too. But I, I don't know. I don't like to put my foot in the floor. Mm -hmm. My son, yes. Hey, mm -hmm. Which is the right, the right word to say this guy? So, Bay, bay Rob? Barefoot. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. Barefoot. Barefoot. I don't like it. I can. Barefoot. Does it significa I... barefoot? No, no shoes. No, no socks. Ah, okay, 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 okay. okay. To oh. walk, walk. Barefoot. Yes. Okay. It's like a chunya. Yeah. Uh -huh. a chunya. In a good yeah. Salvadorian. Chunya. I don't yeah. like barefoot. Me. Yeah. <laughs> You like yeah. Christina? Me, I. Yes. <laughs> ah, I am in only home. Mm -hmm. I am um, barefoot. Sonia, <laughs> barefoot. In the yes. morning, you go home. Ah, she's barefoot. <laughs> De repente, it's so relaxing. <laughs> Good. I like it before I like barefoot in my garden to walk in the grass. Mm -hmm. 
I like, but in the house, I agree with Carla. In the house, I don't like barefoot. I prefer mm. sand. Carla, and in the beach, you walk? In the beach? Bare, bare, barefoot? Uh, yeah. No. But uh, in the uh, arena? Sand? Sa sand. And sand. Yeah. Only sand. Mm. But, uh, uh, maybe in the ranch or, or hotel? Uh -uh. I don't like it. Okay. All right. Good. No sé. Nazario, maybe something happened with your wife. Se le cayó algo? Yeah. Yes. I hear. Le coja lo recojo. Le coja lo Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I, I hear her. Ah, Carlita. I hear her. Me quité, teacher. Me quité. I hear her voice. No, but yes. it's my daughter. Ah, uh, okay. He that's was watching. <laughs> he was watching a movies. Uh, yeah. yeah. You listen to Carla. That's why no barefoot. Yeah. No barefoot. <laughs> Is that reason? <laughs> okay. It's true. Great job. In this moment, now that we have good discussion, good ideas, we're going to begin to do that midterm exam. That way, if you have time tomorrow. Or if you, we can finish today, great. If not, tomorrow we continue. Let me explain to you the different sections of the exam. The exam has many sections. The first part is listening and answering what is Wes and Rita. Okay, four different audio, four, four different questions. Wes's invitation, the excuse, and then... What does Rita say? The two things she says. In part B, only we need to put in the correct verb. So here we have the two verbs and we need to form it in the correct form, okay? So complete the conversation with the correct form. Part C, simple. Only select the correct word to complete the sentences. The same for the part two. Part two, select which is the correct form, infinitive or base form. In D, you're going to use the different words, would, will, I'd, or I'll to complete the conversation, which is the best way to complete it. In section E, you're going to use the ones that are in parentheses and put in the correct position. Here we have, for example, can. So we're going to use this information and we are going to give Ken that information, okay? It's almost like telling him the message. Remember here, we're going to give the message. And the last part is like today's practice. Read and answer the questions about the reading. Here, only four questions, okay? Any questions about the different sections? I have a question for the part E. Part E, okay. At the last one, number four. I began that yesterday, but in the number four, I don't don't remember. I used the the grammar like a video example, but it's not only correct. For example, for me the. The answer is please ask Paula to please ask Paula the test come to the picnic on Saturday. But when I send the answer is only uh, incorrect form, only at the number four. Correct, Jonathan, because that is incorrect. Your answer is incorrect, but with your partner in this moment, only one word is you need to fix. It's not that, it's two. Two. Mm -hmm. Is please to ask come. to come. To come to, to come to. Uh-huh. Oh. That is why, because it is incorrect, Jonathan. But okay. in this moment, we are going to begin with our partners to begin that way we don't have to worry we, on, we are going to advance so that ah, on Friday, we are complete. Thursday, we are complete. If you have time tomorrow, you can complete. In this moment, 
begin with your partners, part A, okay? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. I finished the platform, but uh, in the end, uh, I don't pass uh, for the certificate. Uh -huh. Then please write, but you have eight or more. In the in the ultima? In in Part the grades, you have eight yeah. or more. Yes. Then please Part write. F. Huh? F. What F? Yeah. La ultima. Uh huh. In section F. The last one. Yeah. Read uh -huh. the article. Yes. Y no me permite pasar a lo a lo otro. No hay otro. F is the okay. last. Pero no me da como para darle enviar y si me salga correcta o no, pues. Ah, when you click here, no. Ah. Uh, Let's take a look. I don't know. This, este botón no te sale, enviar. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm, okay. We're going to check with the other partners. Uh, okay. Si alguien más no le sale. Entonces es problema de, del sistema, pero si a los demás se les sale y a ti no, es problema de tu compu. Ok. Y si es problema de tu compu, solución fácil, hacerlo, hacerlo en, exacto, hacerlo en, en el celular o en otra cosa. Exacto. Ok. Ok, okay perfecto. All right, excellent. Let's start with our partners so we can advance a little bit. Ok. Listen to two telephone conversations. Check the correct information. One. Hello? Hi, Wes. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, would you like to come to a beach party on Saturday? Amy and Terry are going to be there. Amy and Terry? Great. Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around 6 in the evening. Oh, no. I start work at 6. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. Two. Hi, this is Rita. Hey, Rita. This is Charlie. How are things? Not bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. 
But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. One more time. Let's check one more. Listen to two telephone conversations. Check the correct information. One. Hello? Hi, Wes. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, would you like to come to a beach party on Saturday? Amy and Terry are going to be there. Amy and Terry? Great! Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around 6 in the evening. Oh, no. I start work at 6. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. Two. Hi, this is Rita. Hey, Rita. This is Charlie. How are things? Not bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. Fahrenheit. We will Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers. 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep. 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big? Big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? 
How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Plus two plus the request. Again? Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103. Exercise 8. Grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite. Teacher, no, me maybe. too don't activate the, the button when I finish. For number eight. Yeah, the number F. Number like F. A, yeah, like a Carlita. I finish all, but don't activate the, the button. Ah, okay. Excellent. Can I can I share the screen? Yes, yes, yes. If you can share to WhatsApp, it's yeah. better. But oh, uh -huh. in this in Let this part, I finished all. Okay. But not activate this option. Go to, uh, hmm. let me see the part where it says uh, notas. Go to notas. Let me see if it affects you. Or progreso. The, the idea, it's it's going to say progreso. I share. Yeah. Uh, this guy. No, no. This. Uh, here? Yes. Okay. Go down. Uh, but yes. Not the button. But look, but the exam is registered. Oh. You see, Carlita? This Not necessarily the button. The, the important is the exam is registered. Yeah, but I, I think um, the certificate is not um, uh, today. I don't know. Okay. But, but, but you had a problem in, in H, uh, HWO3. But how I saw that is incomplete. Okay. Oh. I complete. Okay. Oh. But don't worry. I will report and see what we can have. But send a message to make sure that the problem is not for you. So send a message uh, in that way they can try to fix it. Okay, Carlito? I had the Teacher, same problem. Eh, eh, I don't know. Dice, su inscripción ruta de asistente. Usted está inscrito en el curso como asistente. Este modo de tomar el curso no incluye la obtención de un certificado y lo tengo al 100 en teoría. Sí, sí pero, es, pero es porque estás de asistente, tiene que estar de participante. Entonces eso al principio tenía que haber escrito para que te den el certificado. Pero eso ya está según, según en el trabajo, teacher. Por eso en el sistema está como, ah, ah por eso tenés que mandar el correo. Diciendo que ah. no está activado lo de participante. Ya ah. Bien, entonces. Ajá. Ah, yes. Ahí me copian el correo, Carlos. Este, una, 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 una,
Eso de lo que no les aparece el certificado, no les va a aparecer, si terminaron hoy la plataforma, no les va a aparecer ahora mismo. A no, veces se tarda un 24 día. 24 horas, sí, tarda un día. Uh -huh. Ah, pero se aparece. Sí, pero no es el mismo día. O sea, si lo hicieron ayer, hoy debe de aparecerle, pero si no, debe aparecerle ya mañana. A mí me aparece el certificado. Ok. All right, guys, ya te aparece. Okay. Right. okay. So send a message. That way we can get it. Okay. For okay. WhatsApp, Jonathan. The, yes. For uh, WhatsApp, Jonathan. Correct. Okay. All right. Remember I, me, please. Yes. Ah. I see you guys on Thursday. <laughs> All right. Okay, DJ. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. bye. Happy Thank days, you. mom. Yeah. For the moms on the group. Enjoy bye. with your mother Thank tomorrow. You.